Hello students, my name is Abhishek Singh and in this video I will be teaching you GK for class 4. Keep your books and pencils ready so that you can maintain the record of whatever I am teaching. Let's get started. The name of your book is New Search and Find class 4. In this video, we will be discussing about chapter 19. The name of the chapter is Environment. So let's read what is written over there. You must be aware of the environment in which you live since you are a part of this environment it is your duty to look after it here are some day-to-day -day activities answer each in T for true and F for false so we have to do true false in this so over here on total we have 12 points Let's start with number one. Number one, we should keep our surrounding clean. It is true or false? Yes, we should keep our surrounding clean. So it is true. Let's go with number two. CNG. What is the full form of CNG? Compressed natural gas. So I'm writing over here the full form of CNG. Compressed natural gas. Compressed natural gas provides pollution free environment. So, is it true or not? Yes, it is true. So, the answer is true. Compressed natural gas provides pollution free environment. Let's move on to number three. What is written over there? Burning garbage causes air pollution is it true or false when you see someone burning the garbage outside your home or in your locality do you see the smoke coming out of that yes so it, the burning of garbage causes air pollution so it is true T now let's move on to number four noisy radios and loudspeakers cause air pollution is it true or false? It is false because noisy radios and loudspeakers cause noise pollution, not air pollution. So it is false. Let's move on to number five. Plastic bags should be used extensively. Should we use plastic bags? No, we should use jute bags or paper bags because plastic bags are not recyclable because plastic bags takes lot of time to decompose into the earth so we should not use plastic bags so it is false plastic bags should be used extensively no we should not use plastic bags extensively number six there is no use of a dustbin in a classroom in your classroom, do you see the dustbin? Yes, in the classroom, you see the dustbin. So, do you feel the use of dustbin in your classroom? Yes, we feel the usage of dustbin in our classroom. Dustbin is useful in our classroom. So, it is false. Let's move on to number seven. Waste matter cannot be recycled. Waste matter cannot be recycled. Do you think that? I think that waste matter can be recycled. So. It is false. Number eight, we should plant more trees. So it is true. Yes, it is true. We should plant more trees. So T, true. Number nine, we should use paper or jute bags for shopping. Yes, we should use paper or jute bags for the shopping. So it is true. Like we read in point number five, should we use plastics bags extensively? No, we should use paper and jute bags. Now let's move on to number 10. Turning off lights and fans save energy. Do you think? Yes, turning off lights and fans save energy. What energy? The energies which are used to produce electricity like nuclear energy, solar energy and wind energy. Okay. So these are the examples of the energy which we use to produce electricity. So number 10 is true. Turning off lights and fans save energy. 
नंबर इलेवन फॉल इन लीव्स कैन एनरिच सॉइल फर्टिलिटी इज इट राइट यस फॉल इन लीव्स कैन एनरिच सॉइल फर्टिलिटी वेन द लीव्स फॉल फ्रॉम द ट्री और प्लांट्स इट गिव्स द सॉइल मोर पावर टू फर्टाइल मोर एंड मोर ऑफ क्रॉप्स सो फॉल इन लीव्स कैन एनरिच सॉइल फर्टिलिटी नंबर ट्वेल्व कार पुलिंग इज गुड फॉर द एनवायरमेंट Do you think car pulling is good for the environment? Yes, let me tell you the meaning of car pulling. What is the meaning of car pulling? When one vehicle is there and four of you have to go to the same office. So, one boy or one girl will tell others to join the same car. Let's not pollute the environment by using four cars. One car will help four of them to reach to the same destination car pulling is one way from which we can reduce the pollution so car pulling is good for the environment it is true so this was chapter 19 environment these are the answers you can write from here okay let's move on to chapter number 21 which is in page number 24 let's start reading it what is written over there chapter 21 the name of the chapter is measuring units Let's read it. What is written over here? We measure different substances in different units. Fill in the blanks by choosing the correct words from the help box. This is the help box. Here are some options. We can choose the answer from here. You can check the spellings from here. Number one, heat is measured in. What is the answer? Joule. J O U L E. Joule. so heat is measured in joule number 2 time is measured in dash so time is measured in r h o u r r number 3 electric current is measured in electric current is measured in yes what will be the answer ampere a m p e r e ampere Number four, purity of gold is measured in. Purity of gold is measured in carat. C A R A T carat. So carat is the answer. Number five, length of a cloth. Length of a cloth piece is measured in. What will the answer? Yes, meter. Length of a cloth piece measured in m e t r e meter. So remember the spelling m e t r e meter. Number six, amount of milk is measured in. Amount of milk is measured in liter. L i t r e liter. So the amount of milk is measured in liter. Number seven. Vegetables are weighed in. It is not measured. It is weighed. Okay. Vegetables are weighed in dash. Vegetables are weighed in kilogram. The spelling is k i l o kilo g r a m gram. Okay. Point number eight. Distance between two places is measured in. What will be the answer? The answer is kilometer. Yes. Distance between two places is measured in kilometers. K i l o m e t r e kilometer. Now point number nine. Loudness of sound is measured in. Loudness of sound is measured in decibel. D e c i b l e. Let's write it. D e c i b l e. Loudness of sound is measured in decibel. Let's move on to number ten. Number ten, body temperature is measured in dash. Let's see what is the answer. The answer is Fahrenheit. F A H R E N H E I T Fahrenheit. Let's write it. The spelling is F A H R E N. H E I T Fahrenheit. So the body temperature is measured in Fahrenheit. 
so this was chapter 21 and the name of the chapter was measuring units so in this video we have done chapter 19 and chapter 21 write the answers in your book and that's it for the video i'll see you again in my next video till then stay blessed god bless you all